What's up guys, it's me that's guy and welcome back to The Walking Dead. When we last left off, we finished episode 1 of the series. Um, some people died, I'm not gonna say anything, but if you guys want to learn more about it, just make sure to go check it out. And yeah, so in today's video, we the group got bigger as well, but we're missing out some food. But before I get more into it, if you guys aren't subscribed, please do consider it since I upload Hurry. daily content Hurry. every single day and you guys do not want to miss any of it. And yeah. This trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Let me guess, walkers? Shit, walkers! It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Maybe we can smash it. Oh, this fuck. Oh, God. Me. Hurry. Please. Get me Please, out of do this. something. Do you think you can get it open? Ah. I might need to... Oh, Jesus. Those ah. things are going to be here soon. Try to cut the chain. Oh, man. Hurry. Oh, man. Ah. Let me try it. If it doesn't work. Oh, oh let's and go. Die. Come on. You have to get something. him out. You have to. Please, we used to like that. There's gotta be another There's so much blood already now. Please hurry up. I'm sorry. Oh god. I'm gonna have to cut you out. No, no, no. Damn it, Lee, just cut out the traffic light. Uh, what happened? Anything. We don't have time for that. I'm sorry, but we have to go now. Sorry. I don't have a choice. Come on, another shot, another shot. I'm just wasting ammo now. We gotta go. Ah, so many of them. Another shot. Ah. Oh God. Shit. Is he? He passed out. Yep. He's losing Come on, blood. Let's go, we can't stay here. Not safe. Behind you! Travis! Uh -huh. Come on, come on, we gotta move! Idiot. No, 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 no! 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 And welcome to The Walking Dead, guys. Where people don't live that long. I can't really attach myself to characters. Pretty much side characters, that's what I mean. Oh, you, know, you want to get a love interest? Uh. Yep, nope. I'm already. Big look, big nose Larry. I just noticed that he had a big nose in the thumbnail, but yeah, I'm gonna call him that. Big nose Larry. Come in time, stop it. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on, come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, oh, what's that? going on? We have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! 
What? what the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What? No, your I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. I thought we could save his life. Yeah. I'm the one that took his leg. That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. Damn. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe yeah. they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we yeah. can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone yeah. was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's it running out, doesn't it doesn't matter who's in charge. It doesn't we matter. We never who's said in that. What the <laughs> Most people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. Well, I'm already on your side, Kenny. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. All right, I'll do it. You have four items for for ten hungry people. I'll take care of it. As if. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. Oh. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. No problem. Okay, Claire. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Oi. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Uh, no. Come talk to me once my boy's taken care of. <laughs> hey, Doc. How about a little food? Crack and cheese? Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! Uh, I don't need to take care of you, Clem. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved, thanks. No problem. Give me time, Kenny. Hmm. You kid. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. 
I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was Not no bad. Way. Want some food? Want something to eat? Sorry. Don't worry, I'll give you some food. Hey, Clem. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Give cracker and cheese. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. You haven't ate in a while. Here, eat something. You got your apple. Wow, thanks a lot. That's that's awesome. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Yeah, sure. Here, Here we go. this should help. Try not to make too much noise. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Yep. Is that what you told him? Yep. Yep, that's not what I meant. And yep, that's sir. That's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing mm -hmm. I have to do is protect my daughter. And yeah. Right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. It's fine. Don't worry about it, Mark. So, yeah, basically, I fed everybody besides the new person. Not such an easy job, is it? Nope. It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. <laughs> I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. He's the only one mad. Ken, I don't care. Lee, come here, please. Yeah, come here. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing. Let him go, Katja. But it just uh, needs time. Yeah. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Well, he wants him gone. Oh crap! What the crap? all good take your time
Thanks. You okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Oh, calm down. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? There you go. Once you're dead. It's not the bite that does it. Yeah. There you go. Finally, the group. You the group's back, gonna learn about it. Die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected. We're all infected. Everyone. I I guess so. I don't know. I all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. We, we, we don't, don't want any trouble. Yeah. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Yeah. Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look. We own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If, if y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Uh, Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. Yeah. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? <laughs> no deal. We'll just stay here. Okay. We'll go. You've got a deal. Yeah. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Yeah. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. I got a bad feeling. What if it's terminus? What if it's terminus? So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Kenny keeps us motivated. He believes in hope and knows how important it is for us not to give that up. No. I can't fault him for that. Or maybe you just don't want to be in charge. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Yeah. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? A <laughs> big nose layer. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore. Asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. I'm not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. Smart. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? I am. 
You guys have any questions, you come to me. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, yeah. You guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Carrie are always oh, pulling this shit. Bandits? Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided Dan, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, and you guys were keeping it there's all to yourself! Oh no, there's Yeah, and you know what? More. We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, <laughs> Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> You. Jesus! Asshole! The world out here. Mark was ready to shoot. Damn. Let's get to the dairy where it's safe. I'm just scared that it's gonna be like terminus. It would have been cool, like, going in it without, not, without having any knowledge of The Walking Dead. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Man. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Ever have any accidents? Yeah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? I've got things under control over there. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. That place isn't safe like it is here. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? Yeah. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow oh, is sick? What she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Huh. Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. See you. Mark, Lee, uh, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. Yeah, we can sure. learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. 
If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Yeah. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Yeah. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. All right. See you, Mark. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Yeah, mind? Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Yeah. That's smart, honestly. Let's go find a piece of wood. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. This is too big right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Nice. This is gonna be perfect. Let me go fix it real quick. I'll be ready to help you once that's done. Give me two seconds. good but I need some rope. I kind of find some rope. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Hmm. Pointy. That might come in handy later. Yeah, sure. I'll try to help you. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few Yeah, what about you guys? How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. We can't be the first people you've invited mm -hmm. up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but... Ultimately, they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Ah, uh -huh. let's go fix Mark it. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Huh. Honestly, so far this place feels good. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? 
It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. <laughs> What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. The fish will work it out somehow. We'll yeah. work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. There's one. There's an arrow stuck to his head. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. <laughs> Come on, let's push it off. Uh, before you do anything. Hold on. Put that out. Pull it out. Come on. Disgusting. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Useless. The fortress needs people to defend it. We've yeah. got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. Uh... These folks are just delaying the inevitable. This place is going to fall apart, just like everywhere else. Maybe you're right. There's another one. I see it. You see how the fence got wrecked as well? This one's alive. Uh -oh. Never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> Nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. All right. I can suck it up. <laughs> Come on. I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> hmm. Little help here, Lee? Yeah, sorry about that. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Oh. oh. What the hell? Get to the gate. Come on. You asshole, Jesus! We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out. Damn! I see him! You assholes! You didn't deliver the good! Now we're gonna take what's owed! Give us the food! Shit! Trying to lure me to the open! Over there! Quick! He'll see you! The are stuck in the dirt. Game. Get closer! Did you really think you were fucking us? Where's our food, you asshole? Come on. I already got one of you. See, ah, something's still fucking up. up. Give us the food! Come on, if we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! They're on the boat! Shit, that hurts. Now there you are, boy! Over there! What happened? 
Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. Show yourself! You Come on. Nowhere. I can't believe Mark got shot as well. Oh my god. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? What do you think? He got shot. There was a goddamn ambush out there. Holy shit! Are, are you okay? Bandits here on our property? Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, Mama? Yeah, I'll be all right once it's out. God damn, it hurts. Hey y'all. Mark. Oh my god! What happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ! Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just. Pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. Let's go. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. It isn't safe here. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down. Yeah. But I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Okay. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. Yep. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Oh my god. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing? I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Oh. I was the one supposed to fix it. What is that over there? No walkers in the back barn, right? Please? If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Oh, Larry. Lee, oh my 
my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. Yeah. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? I don't know. I'll take it. Yeah, can I can't have him. How do you feel about about living? How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid huh? and everything. But gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid, if you ask me. That hey, makes sense. thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? You're a good leader. leader Lillard. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. Yeah. What the crap? I teleported. Lots of hay. Hmm. Enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows, if that becomes a problem. I agree. What about you two? Hey. Haley, found anything interesting? I was talking to Andy a bit earlier. Doesn't sound like they have too many guns around. They rely mostly on the fence to keep them safe. So long as you're on this side, things are all right. Provided the fence holds out. Well, that's the problem. When there's no more gas, there's no more fence. That's true. Well, it's good to know what we're working with here. Keep looking around, and let me know if you find anything else. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? Well, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. That's funny, yep. considering you didn't seem too worried about Duck back at Herschel's farm. That's the hey. past, Kenny. Lots happened since then. Yeah, right. I guess uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here. Yeah. I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch them go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Yes, of yeah, course. Of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you've got a pretty clear head about these things. <laughs> I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'd be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find out. They look happy. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? It's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on this way. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. How are you doing? I'm holding up, Clementine. I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? I hope so. Lucky out there. It would have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. 
I want you to stay lucky too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. Aww. Don't worry, we're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let yeah. that happen to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? I'm not sure, Clem. I hope so. I hope so, too. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. All right, let's go. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two yeah. of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? Yeah. We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. Yeah, let's I'll go. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah. yeah. I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. So the people in the woods. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's got to be close. Here. Oh shit, you found it? Let me shoot at people. You see anybody? No. Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Bad idea. Clear. This camp's too small can't be their main base that's what I was thinking take a look around anyway there's probably some shit around here they stole from us what's in the boxes they're all from save lots the first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate Anything worth taking? This is too much stuff for just one person. Trust me, these selfish bastards don't stop taking. Probably just to remind us that it's theirs. Boxes from the dairy here. 
Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Nothing. Hmm. Empty. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. Why are you guys being suspicious? I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily? I thought you were running things back there. Yeah, but, uh, uh, she's got the combat training. Just water. They lived recently. up in this was more like Jesus there's a kid mixed up in this was more like I really don't like the other dude dude stresses me out your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They told me I'd be safe with them, men who lived here, but it weren't safe. Not for me, and not for my girl. They didn't treat her nice. Not no. At all. They took her away into the woods. Wouldn't tell me the where. woods. And I begged them every way I could think. They just laughed. <laughs> so I killed them, and I'm staying here till she comes back to me, one way or another. She'll come back. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down! You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice, sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Yeah. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Screw this. Y'all wave them guns like you're looking to die. Shit! What the hell did you do that for? We had a deal with them. She was about to shoot us both. You could have just taken her down. You didn't have to kill her. Don't care. I mean, I know she was crazy, but damn. <sighs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. 
That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Come on. I'm sorry, I wasn't gonna stay there and, and be like, oh, okay. Finally. bitch down you're back what happened lee took care of it this isn't what terry would have wanted terry my husband miss him every day then screw it up for everybody then why don't you oh calm down princess i'll do it myself What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? They have different ideas about how we should run our group. If they don't find any common ground, this whole thing's gonna fall apart. No, it's just tough times. Everyone's hungry and people get a little stir crazy when their tummy's empty. And Lee? Don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. Yeah. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. On your hat. First, Kenny. Honestly, out of everything I've just done, I shouldn't have went in the barn. Oh, never mind. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. Aww. It's okay. Go ahead. Just says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? Yeah, I was about to say. I don't know. Alright, on the real note, so if you guys did enjoy today's video, please make sure to slap that like button and comment down below. And please do consider subscribing since I upload daily content every single day and you guys do not want to miss any of it. And I will actually see y'all in the next one. See you guys.